I tripped on the first step and fell flat on my chest onto the top step. My horse and I are on this trail alone and I come across a, a stream. He lunges forward and in that motion he lands on top of me. I was blindsided and uh, basically had been attacked by a mountain lion. I can remember nothing about that day. I can't remember anything about the month before. I said, you know, my, my girls, this is, my girls are six and eight. I said, uh, do you think I could see them graduate high school? Would I, would that? He said, well, you know, lymphoma, he said, I've seen them die in two years. I've seen them die in 20 years. I pull up my sweater and my shirt and I look down and sticking out through my bra is the broken off end of this wet knitting needle. His hind leg comes up and down and like a, you know, really like a jackhammer, just goes straight through my shin. He was moving very quickly, dragging me by the head down into a ravine. I hit the truck and left a nice big dent like Wiley e. Coyote <laughs> and I went flying. I stayed in remission till 82 when this stuff came roaring back. I'm a member of the Survivors Club, but it's not an exclusive club. I believe that anyone suffering any trial or struggle can get through it with a positive attitude. My name is Michael, and I survived skin cancer. I'm a member of the Survivors Club because I live my life without fear. I know that whatever life may throw at me, I will be able to handle it. My name is Melissa. I'm a co-survivor. My mother battled breast cancer and has been in remission for four years. I'm a member of the Survivors Club because I wouldn't have the love and the fulfillment and the satisfaction that I have in my life today if that accident hadn't happened to me. I'm Max, I'm a co-survivor, my mom survived ovarian cancer. I'm a member of the Survivors Club because I lived through being hit by a 20-ton truck. I did survive my incident, but I like to take it one step further to thriving, you know, not just surviving, but thriving.